welcome back to Google stuff and in the last part we created with list a repository class and in this part we will create a view model class for our quiz list and then we'll try to fetch it in the list fragment a repository class is done now what we need to do uh, I'll click on the view model and select new Java class and I will name it as quiz list view model and this will extends to view model and inside this uh, we'll first create one mutable live data list and inside this we'll write quiz list model and let's name it as a quiz list live data and let's just initialize it and let's just initialize it as well here so new mutable live data and then pen column then we will uh, initialize our repository so quiz list repository let's name it as a repository equals to new quiz list repository and here we need to pass this so just press here alt enter and it will ask to implement on firestore task complete two methods so click on ok and again we will create one constructor for this class so public quiz list view model and we'll pass nothing here but what we'll do we'll use our repository dot get quiz data so in this uh, so in the constructor what we are doing uh, we are calling the method of a repository class or uh, that is get quiz data so inside the get a quiz data what we are doing we have created one reference as you can see here and the collection name is quiz as uh, you know and then we are just getting the data from that quiz reference and yeah so it will run the firebase query as soon as the constructor of this class is invoked so yeah now we need to implement this uh, quiz data loaded method so what we need to do we we'll just quiz list a live data dot set value and we'll set the value of quiz list models that will get passed in this quiz data loaded method and in all error what we can do we'll just uh, log the exception so we can identify the issue e dot get message and instead of tag what we will write is error okay and at the last what we can do we will generate one data for our mutable live data so yeah so yeah that's it for the quiz list view model class now what we need to do I'll just close this and I'll open use list fragment. So yeah, we haven't done anything yet here. Again, uh, we will add one progress bar here. So search for progress bar. Let's just constraint it. Let's keep it in the middle. So constraint from all the sides. And let's just change the color of this progress bar. In determinate tint, and here I'll write light sky. So yeah. Now we will just uh, initialize our widgets. So we have the recycler view. Let's name it as a recycler view. Then we have one progress bar. Let's name it as a progress bar and okay only this much of stuff and then also we will have to initialize our now controller so now controller and then we will require our view model so this list view model let's name it as view model so now we'll override on create method and let me just delete these annotations 
and from sign up fragment what we can do we will copy the view model initialization and I will paste it over here so instead of auth view model class this time uh, we will need quiz list view model dot class and this will happen okay and lastly we will override on view created method let's just delete the annotations of jedwins okay so in here first let's just uh, find all the ids of our widgets and then the nav controller so navigation equals to find now controller and then we'll pass in the view so yeah so now we will set some properties to recycle view so dot set has fixed size we'll pass in the true and the layout manager so set layout manager new linear layout manager okay, so we'll write get context here and then we'll call our adapter so we'll just first create the adapter here adapter instance so our adapter name is a uh, quiz list adapter and let's just initialize it over here so adapter equals to new quiz list adapter and then semicolon so what we'll do we'll just set this adapter to our recycler view we'll pass in the adapter and now what we'll do we'll observe the live data so view model dot get quiz live data dot observe this and a new observer so instead of this we have to write get view live cycle owner in the on view created method and then in on change for first of all we'll just invisible our progress bar so this will be gone and then we'll call the adapter method that is set quiz list models and in here we'll pass the quiz list quiz list models that will get passed in here then we can also notify the adapter that data set changed yeah and this will be happy so now i'll try to run the app and let's see it's working or not so it is installed the splash pane and our app got crashed let us see the error so yeah the error is attempt to invoke our interface method list dot size on a null object reference oh, yeah okay so let's just open our uh, quiz list adapter and inside this what we can do we can have one check so if uh, our list what was our list name quiz list models so quiz list model is equals to null we can return the zero else we can do this part okay and now let's try to run the app again so yeah the progress bar okay so since we fix this issue uh, our app still doesn't load the data so we need to fix one thing in the faststore database so just open your firebase project and click on the faststore database and then in the rules so instead of if false uh, just try it here request sorry request dot auth is not equals to null means the user is authenticated and then click on the publish so yeah and you can check your data as well so collection name is quiz and everything is correct so now i will try to run the app again and let us see it's working or not so yeah it is installed and it loads the data so yeah we need to fix some things like margin and all that 
So based on your internet connection speed, um, it will take time to load the data. But you can also store the thumbnail of the image into the file store. So now what we need to do, uh, we need to add on click listener to each item so we can navigate through the details fragment. So now we'll work on that. Let me just minimize that and inside the each page, uh, what we can do. So to fix the margin, uh, what we can do, we can add a horizontal margin. Just right margin. So margin horizontal of 20 dp or maybe 15 dp and margin vertical of 10 dp or instead of margin vertical we can write margin top of 10 dp so yeah and this will fix i guess so now what we need to do we will need to add on click list now so in the quiz list adapter in the inner class we have to find the idea of our constraint layout so in here constraint layout equals to item view dot find you by id r dot id dot it should be constraint layout and same column then we'll add on click listener to our constraint layout so set on click listener and we'll pass this here press alt enter and make quiz list view holder implement the on click listener and we'll we'll get to implement this on click method in here so in this method what we'll do so to implement on click uh, we need to create our own interface here so public interface on item clicked listener and inside this we will have one method right on click or let's just name it as on item click and inside this we'll pass in the position of the item so int position and then semicolon let's just create a member variable of the interface private on item click listener on item click listener let's just make it capital in here and in here as well so yeah this will happen and then in the on click method and then in on click method we'll call that on item click listener dot the method and we'll pass the get adapter position so yeah and then what we can do uh, we'll create constructor of this class so public quiz list adapter and in here we'll pass in the on item click listener click listener yeah on item click listener this dot on item click listener equals to on item click listener okay yeah so the it is saying one error so it is in the list fragment of course so here we need to just write this and it will ask to implement it so make list fragment implement the, the interface so now we will have to implement this on item click method but uh, one thing we will also need to pass the data between the different fragments like we need to pass the position for that uh, we will have to so for that we will have to add uh, safe arguments uh, dependency so just search for safe args dependency click on this second link copy this uh, dependency first and we need to paste it in the build.gradle the project level in here uh, don't click send now so we will need to copy the plugin so copy this and now click on the sync now so yeah it is synced now I'll just uh, close this this 
so now i'll open the nav graph and we need to add argument to our detail fragment so just click on the detail fragment and then arguments so we name the variable as position and this will be of type integer and the default value will be zero click on add and okay so now in the list fragment what we need to do we'll write list fragment directions this one dot uh, the capital one action list fragment uh, to detail fragment and let's just name it as an action this will be equals to list fragment directions dot this time the small one and at the last we will write same column okay and then action dot set position we will call this method and here we will pass in that position dot semicolon and then we will use our nav controller to navigate and we will pass in the action here so yeah uh, this should work now let's try to test the app again so we didn't set any data in the details fragment but uh, let us see it's working or not so yeah, now i'll click on the python programming so yeah it's working because it is navigating us to the details fragment so in the next part uh, we'll get all the data from that of uh, the clicked item and we'll set the data in this detail fragment so yeah that's it for this part and stay tuned for the next one thanks for watching